In this video, I want to show you how to turn a whole row of data in Excel uh, a certain color if a condition is met. Let's say in this case, if the amount in column E is uh, more than $30, we want the whole row to turn red. So what you do is, um, first you're going, to, you're going to select the data. So I want to pick on cell A1. And by the way, a really quick way to select the data is I can do Control A. And notice how it highlights all the data down to the next blank row and the next blank column. So it really does select the entire block very nicely when I do Control A. Uh, now we're going to use conditional formatting here. So I'm going to pick on the home menu. Then we'll pick on conditional formatting. And uh, you're going to say something that's called new rule. So we're going to go in a different direction than usual. Pick on new rule. And you say use a formula. And I'm going to give it the formula. So I'll click here. And we're going to type in equals dollar sign E1 greater than 30. And now let me describe that formula for you. All formulas start with an equal sign, of course. Now the reason I'm putting a dollar sign before the letter E is because I always want to look at column E. I want to make that a constant. Uh, so that's why I have a dollar sign before the letter E right there. Now the reason I don't have a dollar sign before the number 1 is because I want that to change to the current row. So in other words, I want to look at the current row and look at column E. And if that number is more than 30, then that'll be the condition. Now, um, I'm saying E1 there because um, the first row is highlight. So if you started highlighting your data at, um, at row 5, then I would say E5 in this case. All right? So it's always going to be the first row that you have highlight within your data. That's really important. It's not always you know E1. Uh, it might be E5 if I had started highlighting my data on the fifth row. We're going to pick a format. And uh, when I pick on format, you're going to see it's going to bring up your traditional format cell screen. So let's say I'm going to make the color white for the white letters. And then for the fill color, we'll make it red. So it really stands out. It's going to be the white on red. I'm going to click on OK. But that's only going to occur if uh, column E for the current row is more than 30. I'm going to click on OK. And notice that's exactly what happened. If I scroll down, all the rows that are in red is because the number for that row in column E is more than 30, as we can see. Now, what's interesting about this is that if I change that number to 25, notice how that row is going to go back to normal. So it really does stay consistent with your data. I'm going to change this one to 32, and that one should go to red, and you can see that it does. So the whole key about that was I highlight my data with Control A, select that entire block. We did conditional formatting. And let me show you the um, let me show you the rule again. So in this case, I'm going to say edit rule equals dollar sign E1 greater than 30. I'm looking at color, column E. That's why the dollar signs before the E. I don't have a dollar sign before the one because I always want that to be the current row. I want that to change. So if the column E for that row is more than 30, that's the condition. And then you can set your format. And that's how we can uh, highlight the entire row when a condition is met.